if you look back at acquisitions and videos made over the years, they bought James Wu and Mark Wheeler's deep map when they started moving deeper into mapping. We had the Delaware court documents that they, one, they looked at investing in Zooks, then two, according to the court documents, they looked at acquiring it. And so I'll go out here on the record. At, at some point, they're going to buy a stack and they're going to license it there. I said it, it, it's going to happen at, at some point. How does the market react when that happens? What you're meaning is if they go out and buy Wave, like who's, we think, a leader and, and someone that's already a partner with NVIDIA. How does the market react? I mean, you know, very positively, I think, for Uber, because of the NVIDIA brand, I think, to a certain extent, rivals <laughs> Google Waymo, as well as Tesla. I don't know, like, if Tesla really sells off there, because it's almost a validation of the autonomous market. And same thing with, with I mean, Google Waymo is only one subset of Google, it's not necessarily bad for Waymo. Again, it's a validation of the market, but it's good, I think, for Uber. It's probably problematic for a bunch of the other autonomous companies. Not because NVIDIA is going to know how to do this better than, let's say, Noro or Mamerability or whoever, just because this is the way the market is. NVIDIA has such a halo, such a strong brand. Obviously, tons of capital available to it. It's obviously going to make it more difficult on the capital raising front for the other companies that NVIDIA doesn't buy. And by the way, from NVIDIA's standpoint, if you do that, aren't you potentially risking, you know, selling your compute and other products, or your drive software into these other companies? That's why even though maybe they went after Zooks initially, it might not be the best strategy for them right now, unless they're just saying, like, look, you know, our stack has to be the winning stack.